Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath. In this video today, we're going to talk about the adrenal hormones and the sex hormones. So if you're someone who's always tired, no matter what you do or how much sleep you have, or someone that just can't get to sleep at night or waking during the night, then you may have adrenal problems. Or someone who, no matter what type of diet or exercise program you're doing, you just can't shift that weight. Or have mood changes like anxiety, depression or have conditions like thyroid, digestion, or other health problems that just won't change. This could be caused by an underlying adrenal problem. With the sex hormones, if you have weight that will not change, especially if men are weight around the breasts or the waist, women with PMS problems, infertility, or if you've had breast cancer or a family history of breast cancer, you wanna know what your hormone levels are, but also how you're metabolizing hormones like estrogen. Let's have a look at some examples of the Dutch hormone test and I'll explain how it can assess the adrenal and the sex hormones. This is an overview of the first page of the Dutch test. We can see of this person here, they have excess estrogen compared to progesterone and their cortisol is a little bit high in the morning and also at night. This may indicate they have trouble either getting to sleep or staying asleep. Overall, free cortisol is okay and the metabolized cortisol is okay. DHEA is a little bit high, that may indicate inflammation, especially with the high estrogen levels. Here's another example of the overview of the Dutch test. Low progesterone, low estrogen, this person is going to be either menopausal or close to that menopause age. They have very high free cortisol, especially in the first half of the day, and then it crashes in the afternoon. So this could be that classic afternoon crash and fatigue. Their total cortisol production is relatively low though, even though it's free cortisol, it's high. So we need to look into all aspects of the adrenal function, not just the free cortisol, which a saliva hormone test measures. This page looks at all the sex hormone markers. It may look quite confusing and a lot of funny words, but during a consultation, I'll explain what all the results mean. These are the same markers in a graph form. So we have the DHEAS and testosterone levels. We have the three different types of estrogen. And we can see that the estradiol, the strongest of the estrogen is quite high, and estriol is very high. So estrogen gets metabolized down three different pathways. There's the healthy 2-hydroxyestrone pathway, and the levels here are quite low. So this lady is metabolizing her estrogen hormones down the 4 and the 16-hydroxyestrone pathway. This is associated with DNA damage, which can lead to things like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, fibroids. Also, methylation is quite low. So in this particular incidence, we need to lower estrogen, but we also really need to improve the detoxification of estrogen and the methylation of estrogen. Here's another example of the sex hormone test, and estrogen levels are good here. Detoxification is good, but methylation is still quite low. And with the testosterone metabolites, too much is going down the 5-alpha-DHT pathway. So this is a male client, and this can lead to anger issues, uh, early baldness, uh, and also a risk factor for, say, prostate cancer. The adrenal function is the three things we need to look at is total cortisol production, which is the metabolized cortisol, the free cortisol, and cortisone, which is how cortisol is metabolized into cortisone, and cortisone can get converted back into cortisol. So this is a disrupted rhythm here. It should rise up in the morning and then come back down, but during the afternoon here, cortisol levels are quite high. But overall, the free cortisol is okay. Look at that total cortisol production, it's very low. So we actually wanna improve the adrenal function and whether someone has high free cortisol or depends on their total cortisol production, each different scenario is gonna require a different treatment. Here's someone with very low free cortisol, but relatively high metabolized cortisol. So in this particular case, if you did a saliva test, it would show up a very low cortisol levels. 
but they're actually this person's actually producing plenty of cortisol but it's getting metabolized into cortisone very quickly so a planet naturopath we can organize the dutch hormone test kit to be shipped anywhere in the world you can order through the website or just send an email to tests at planetnaturopath.com all the tests come with a consultation and a written report detailing the necessary steps you need to do to improve your hormone health and any diet or nutrition or supplements that you may need to take.